everybody, welcome back. So, and we're back and some more. Last time I had a shout out to somebody on YouTube channel. And, oh my gosh, are you trying to do this? Watch this, I know it. The driver who was 68 and unarmed did not survive. Come oh, come on. You serious? Here's ABC's Lindsay Davis. Or, oh, hey, it's Goldie Flower. This is the dash cam uh, footage authorities refused to release okay. for more than yes. two years. Oh, hey. Then 25 year old police officer oh. Justin Craven oh. giving chase to this Chrysler Sebring driven oh, by no. 68 year old Ernest Savage. I'm dropping off. Winds okay. Roads until he I did it. Pulls into his driveway. Craven immediately approaches the car, gun drawn. Oh no. You see Would hand, you stop right it? The officer opens fire, killing him. Craven says the suspect grabbed his gun. He is Satterwhite's lawyer such says he simply raised his hands in surprise. Police say Satterwhite's blood alcohol content was almost twice the legal limit. A grand jury refused to indict Craven for manslaughter, but charged him with a lesser felony. He ultimately no. pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor. Sentence Monday to probation and community service. He got probation, no house arrest, and he's pretty much free to go live his life. Why a different outcome from this case also in South Carolina? This former state trooper is charged with one felony count of assault and battery and faces up to 20 years in prison. And his victim didn't die. Mm, nope. Psych. I'm gonna do this, guys. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Psych. Lindsay Davis, Lindsay, thank you. And next tonight to your money here, we're still on the trail getting answers uh -huh. for how your tax dollars are being spent. ABC's Mary Bruce tracking your money this time, and many of you might be surprised about where it's going now. Yeah, take yes, that. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Alright, just died. Is he gonna do that to me? What? Republican Senator Jeff Flake wants to put a lid on what he considers wasteful spending. You wonder, you know, what they were drinking. <laughs> they okay. That's why we need Trump that, in there. Uh, this ought to be static. But scientists uh, are no, defending their research. Care. The goldfish study aims to understand how sensory mm -hmm. systems work. The coffee research takes a broader look at low viscosity liquid dynamics. Trump. Remember, this is science. Mm -hmm. Congress allocates right both funding to preeminent research organizations who in turn decide which projects I don't know. I Blake says that's what the goldfish Obama. I think they'd be less prone to spend money on what makes a goldfish sexy. But David, it's not as if lawmakers are playing around a few thousands of clients and these scientists may simply never know where the next big breakthrough will come from. David? Studying goldfish and spilling coffee. Mary Bruce tonight will stay on. There is still much more evidence tonight this Tuesday. Oh, I know I was right there. Um, that's me right again. Look at this, they're rescuing. After something that grandmother did right there, the search team spotted your plea for help. News on her condition tonight. And of course, a lesson for us all. Also That's cool. How Bill Cosby's wife, her team the arguing the deposition she questions for her help sign. The judge now ruling on whether she'll have to continue to answer. At the ABC News exclusive... What do you think, what do you all think about Bill? Forget about the president. What are we going to do about Bill? Oh, come on. Tonight he's with oh us. Wait, what did you just say? What did you just say? Oh. 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 You sound like my mom and OJ Stimson. I thought he was innocent too. No. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>